Hello everyone. I've decided that I'm going to try a new uh, uh, city um, to go on the heels of my previous two projects. Uh, this time I'm uh, working with some uh, different mods I'm still using the extended uh, public transport UI. That's just so useful. Um, I've added the No Pillars mod uh, so that I can, in uh, some cases, actually uh, uh, put a road through when there's a pillar underneath uh, an elevated road. Uh, I figure that's reasonable since, in most cases in the real world, um, on long runs of elevated road, uh, if a pillar needs to be moved, it can be at great expense, but it can be. Um, I've um, also enabled the Disable Clouds mod, uh, and that's just so that I have better visibility of what I'm working with. There's no need for them, so all it does is add atmosphere, which uh, isn't really helpful, uh, especially when you're looking at your city. And I'm using a different 25 uh, tiles unlocker, which should increase the price of each tile past the 9. Um, it's basically going to be the same as this other one I was using. Um, I've been debating about whether to use the unlock all mod uh, so I don't have to deal with milestones. I can build whatever I want when I want. But I've decided I'm going to stick with the milestones as they are. I've also downloaded a few maps uh, from the uh, workshop. Um, anyway, I'm going to start a new game here and I'm going to use this map here. Uh, it poses some interesting challenges with the landform, so uh, I think that's uh, a good... Uh, it's, a, it's a good map to, uh, to play with. Um, I did some, uh, an, some testing with a, an, an, an example uh, game uh, it, a little while ago and it does seem to be relatively easy to deal with. Now I'm going to call this city well I don't know what I'm going to call this city I'm not calling it Rock Valley though. Um, well Well, let's see. Well, maybe, uh, maybe I will go with Rock Valley. Nah. Um, Yeah, Rock Valley is too similar to Rockdale, which was my first project, so I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm going to call it Cliff View. Um, yeah, real original, right? Because there's these cliffs that you can view from the starting tile. Um, yeah, uh, but it just seems seems like it'll do. It's different enough to my other uh, projects that it will work. Now, these bottom maps here, this Calgary one, is actually uh, a reasonably accurate uh, version of the Calgary area, although it's at about half scale. Um, I can't speak for Oakville or Moscow, but the maps looked interesting. I can't remember the details on this uh, 
Mulgore one, um, but it looks kind of cool, so I'm gonna gonna use it. Um, it doesn't have uh, ship connections, but I haven't been using those anyway. But it does have air and rail and highways, so uh, so far so good. It also has a large buildable area and fairly balanced resources. So here we go, starting the game. This is the part that's really boring, waiting for games to uh, load. Okay, so here we go. Here's our initial um, plot that we start with here. Um, I don't know what's up with this thing here. It's a totally pointless uh, interchange setup. Um, but I'll deal with that later. Um, anyway. So, uh, I'm going to pause the... Uh, the game here while I uh, I start laying out my town. Uh, first of all, I'm going to need a road of some kind. I'm going to start over here on this little um, spit here, or you know, just jut out here. Um, but I'll get a downward view here so I can actually see. Now, I'm going to start. Nope. I want to go closer. Um, that was a me. What? Okay, that was fun. I'm going to assume that was related to one of these mods that I have loaded. Um, I'm trying something different here with uh, a square grid on my uh, roads over here. Uh, there's no particular reason to do it this way that I've discovered, um, except that um, I think it looks kind of cool. Um, oops. Uh, okay. Okay, I'm going to finish building my uh, initial grid here. The thing about doing this It's excessive, but it gives the traffic a lot of options for crossroads. Now, I need to bring a road out to here. Uh, I'll link that across. Okay, so now I've got a link in there. I will clearly need some power. Um, handily enough, we have some wind over here, so I'll build a couple of uh, power stations here, windmills. Um, now, before I start laying uh, power lines, I'm going to build... Okay, so I'm flowing this way, so I'll put my sewage out outlet here. There we go. 
that means I want my water intake somewhere over here. I'll put it there. Now, I need to build my uh, plumbing system. Okay, so I'll... Well, that's not what I wanted. Uh, there we go. And I've said it before, there's no need for the uh, pipes to follow the uh, roads. That's just my uh, CDO uh, kicking in. Uh, it's just my thing, I guess. Uh, I, of course, CDO is uh, OCD, but... Uh, but with the letters in alphabetical order. Um, and I can't take credit for uh, creating that. Um, oops. Out of city limits, really? Okay, I'm putting the uh, power lines in the water here uh, to keep them out of the way of my uh, construction. I'll eventually be able to delete them when uh, this develops up. Uh, so I'm not worried about the eyesore uh, aspect of it. Now, I definitely need some actual zoning here. I'll start out there and start the simulation. And apparently, ah, there we go. Okay. Nope. Okay, so I'm going to need a fair amount of uh, places for people to live. So I'll set up a bunch of them. in this area um, and I'm gonna set up commercial here initially um, okay this is probably going to change as the uh, city develops. I'm going to also set up over here a uh, industrial area. Um, I'm going to use the highway here as a guide. Um, okay. This here is going to be my reference square. Okay. That's one of the nice things about skylines as compared to some of the older city building games that had a, uh, a solid, um, mandatory uh, fixed grid you couldn't build one area at one angle and another area at another angle um, you just didn't have the angles available at all okay can I actually no I can't okay so I'll have to stop here Okay, now I need I 
I'm ultimately going to put a uh, highway interchange connection over here. I'll do that once I can uh, relocate my uh, windmills. I am, however, going to put a connection here. Okay. Now, I will need water in there. So I'll make the connection here. Okay. I guess I'm going to need to link this up this way as well, so that, that stuff gets water. Okay. Now, I'm going to add some industrial. This is probably way overkill for industrial, but uh, I'm going to go with it. Um, okay, so that should give me uh, something to drive more citizens this way. So I'm up to 250 uh, citizens. Um, I haven't quite gotten to a positive cash flow yet. I'm going to need to wait to get there now, uh, given that my balance is down quite low at this point. So these buttons over here, Pillars and Collide, are for that um, No Pillars mod. Um, that should uh, generally be uh, it should generally be useful later uh, but not so much when I'm building everything on the ground like I am right now I'm observing from my uh, screen recording software that I'm getting about 10 frames per second on the game. Um, I should probably be getting a lot more than that um, as far as uh, performance on my actual hardware goes. This is probably a symptom of the uh, the um, performance issues that uh, have been uh, seen in uh, Linux. I'm going to make a small change here. Uh, let's uh, uh, that should uh, improve the uh, This should improve the traffic flow right here. Okay, yeah. Um, the fun thing, as I believe from the game mechanics, is the two-lane, one-way, and two-way roads don't actually generate traffic lights at the intersections, so... It allows traffic to flow more freely when you don't have a uh, alternating right-of-way set up. Okay, so, so far so good. The uh, city is uh, uh, tootling along here. I'm coming up on 380 to get to a little hamlet, which will give me some services. Um, 
but so far uh, things are ticking along. Um, But still, even at 10 or 12 frames per second, the uh, game plays fairly well. So there's no particular reason that uh, it has to be a much higher frame rate. Although um, traffic would uh, move a little better if it was. Though I suspect possibly uh, maybe one of the mods I have in uh, might be impacting things. Or it might even be the fact that I'm playing with a windowed uh, uh, display this time. My previous installments I've been running full screen. Uh, here's the Hamlet. Um, okay. Uh, so next is a Worthy Village at 750. Now these milestone markers do seem to change depending on your map. There must be a formula for it somehow. but. That's not really important here. Um, anyway, as I was saying, uh, I was playing previous uh, uh, installments with a uh, full screen uh, setup. My monitor is a 16 by 10 monitor, so the aspect ratio is a little bit off for standard high def um, uh, videos. This time I'm running at a, sl a slightly lower resolution instead of the 1920 by uh, 1200 that my monitor does. I'm running at 1600 by 900 in a window. That's a 16 by 9 and uh, that allows me to actually see the uh, screen recording software. I should have fewer mishaps with uh, um, you know failing to start or the thing crashing and me not knowing. Um, it also has a built-in total time recording so I'll be less likely to run 90 minutes apart on uh, on this setup. Now, interestingly enough, uh, on my Linux box, anyway, the software I'm using, it just records the OpenGL output. It doesn't actually record the screen, so um, I can actually uh, put stuff in front of the uh, game window and stuff, and you guys won't see it. You'll see my mouse pointer change, but you won't see the stuff I put in front of the window. It's actually kind of nice for a uh, for a uh, screen capture on a game. Um, it means any kind of weird pop-up that comes up due to my system or whatever isn't going to cause any interference. Okay, so I'm. I've gotten out of the deficit situation. I've got a net positive cash flow. Now I'm going to have to uh, start with some city services, in particular trash. Um, so I'm going to start out by placing a a rubbish tip, or if you're uh, more North America inclined, a um, <laughs> a uh, garbage dump. Okay, so I'll put that here. So you really want to get ahead of the trash before it becomes an issue. And also you want to keep ahead of the power. So uh, that's only seven, so I'll go back over here and I'll plop another couple of these. The industrial stuff will uh, generate a fair power draw so you want to keep ahead of it because if you run out of power you get issues. Eventually I'm going to need health care as well.
Okay, so I'm going to let the simulation run at fast speed for um, for a little while here. Uh, let things develop a bit. That's the really boring part, waiting for that sort of thing. I'm just about to hit the milestone. Um, here we go. I'm now a worthy village. I can get another tile. Um, I can also employ districts and policies and industrial specializations and uh, you know, generally uh, have a great deal of fun and also fire and police department. Um, so I'm going to uh, well, I want to look at the next milestone. Next one's at 1,200 people. Um, so uh, I'm going to implement. Um, that's not really where I want that, but uh, I'll live with that. So I'll put up a couple of fire stations. Now, I'm going to move that so that it's not blocking the road extension. Okay, there we go. Um, okay, so this will make things a little more desirable, so that's good. Um, I'm going to... Ah, right. I'm going to bring a road across here. Wait a minute. That's not lined up right. Uh, that will be... Okay. This road's not lined up right. Let's try this again. Okay. That should be lined up correctly now. And... Okay. That's better. Oh, not enough cash. Okay, I'll speed that up. I could take a loan, but uh, it's not that urgent. Space already occupied? Really? I suppose yeah I had too many angles involved there okay yeah okay uh, okay so that should make some stuff happier there and I'll put this across. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to fill that in. No, that's wrong. Uh, 
There we go. Again, that's my CDO talking. Um, okay, so this is nice and filled in here. Oh, I made it to Tiny Town. Uh, okay. Next is Boomtown. And that gets me to highways. Okay. Now... Expand this a bit. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so that gives me uh, some connections here. I'm going to put a commercial strip along here. Uh, so why don't I just go ahead and do that. Well, it's going to be easier with the flood fill. Okay, the reason I'm putting a commercial strip along here is the industrial will like to uh, ship their stuff somewhere for sale. And the people will want to actually buy stuff somewhere. Uh, and they don't want to live right beside the industry, so there's that too. So I'll put some uh, residential in there. Uh, not sure what I'm going to do over here. But over here, I'm going to bring the... the development over this is the other reason the uh, f the smaller grids here works nice in this specific setting it's due to the uh, shape of the uh, land it's easier to uh, fit things in um, Okay, so I'll bring water across. And okay. Okay, so far so good. Now I'm going to need to start dealing with education. So I'm going to start with education. I don't have enough money for that. Okay. See, I'm going to need an educated workforce once the industry starts leveling up. Um, in fact, uh, well, there's just plain not enough workers in that case, but, uh, so, uh, additional, um, residential development will help with that. So I'm going to do that over here. the uh, commercials not gonna like that I did that but uh, uh, they'll deal um, I should fix that zoning though okay that uh, and this 
Okay, so put some commercial there. Now, uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. I kind of like this angle continuing this way, so I think I'll do that. Uh, here we go. See, it matches the coastline nicely here, or the shoreline, so I'll uh, keep going that way. Uh... Oh, ran out of cash, okay. I'm going to add some zoning here where I've developed. Okay, and here. Okay. And I'm apparently uh, running short on power. I may end up taking a loan here. Oh, yes, and I've got a crime wave going. Uh, what? Do, I don't have that unlocked yet. Okay, well if I take a look in here, uh, under loans, uh, I can take that loan and that gets me enough cash to uh, uh, add some uh, generation capacity. Okay, and what do I have here? Um, crime rate, 26%. Huh. That's pretty high, but should be easy enough to uh, reduce. Look at it, rock it down to 23% now. So those crime zots should start going away. Um, okay. I'm going to fill in my grid over here. And obviously I need to fill in my water service as well. Uh, like so. And like so. Okay. So that sorts that. I also... Okay. Now I'll put this on double quick again and let some things happen. So even with having taken the loan and having the repayment, I've got a uh, a surplus budget, and uh, that's a good thing. Oh, I've got a hole in my water service. Okay, that's easily fixed. So I discovered something uh, today uh, when I was looking around that um, there's a, a quick save hotkey. Um, it's F1. Uh, which will uh, save your game. Uh, 
And it's nice knowing that just in case I get in a situation where I end up with the black screen or the game otherwise disappears, um, but is still running. Um, so far, I've got some traffic uh, tooling around here, and uh, you know, I got the. Uh, I don't have a traffic jam yet, but I'm going to need another overpass or something soon. Um, I'm going to need to do something with all these trucks um, at some point. Uh, but as long as there's nothing here bottlenecking them, uh, generally it's not such a big issue. I think the road... Oh, I made it to Boomtown. Um, so that gets me highways. Um, and the next one gets me all the fancy roads. Okay. I'm going to put a connection across there. Uh, right. I need to fix the zoning. Okay. Let's go double quick again. Each um, milestone, uh, it. Um, drops back to uh, that nice sedate pace. Um, you also get a bit of a cash bonus for each milestone. Um, I don't know why that's the case. It's probably a uh, make the game easier thing. At some point I should probably uh, try a game on the uh, hard game mod. That comes uh, fairly standard with the the game. Um, at least I see. I rec seem to recall it was a standard one there. It doesn't have a uh, link to the uh, workshop uh, beside it, so it must come with the game. Uh, okay. Now. I need to make sure I deal with the education bit. Um, and I'm going to start planting high schools here because I really need my uh, citizens to be educated. Um, uh, okay, uh, right, I was zoning. Okay, now just out of curiosity, that's where it takes that. And I end up with a bridge if I do that. No, there's no need to do that. Yeah, no need to do that. Okay, zone that in. Okay. So realistically, I think I'm going to need an interchange over here. Right. Um, I'll turn the collide off. back on. Now let's see what that did. Uh, now I've got the pillars in the middle. Um, okay. Uh, 
Well, apparently, uh, okay, that removed the pillar. Okay. Now, if I turn the floating off, I can't. Okay, what if I... No. Okay, so the pillars have to stay or I have to rebuild the road. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rebuild the, the road. Okay. I'm not concerned about breaking this particular uh, highway here because um, it doesn't actually go anywhere if you noticed when I was uh, showing you the overall map. Uh, okay. Right, this, I believe, needs a curve. Okay, have to, if I come at it this way, it will be clearer, I think. Uh, Okay, so I've rebuilt the highway there. Now, before I do development in here, I'm going to build a interchange here. Uh, now, how am I going to do this? I'll start out by bringing a ramp down this way and I will oh that's not gonna work okay I will bring a ramp down this way straight for it. Okay. Okay. 
Now the reason I've done this is because of the angle here, I'm probably going to develop right up to the highway. Um, but from here, there's no reason not to have a direct ramp. Okay. And I'll need a Okay, so I can get to going either way on the road from that exit or that exit. And I can get going onto here from either direction. Right, I need a... to come in straight here. Like so. And that gets, okay. That's fairly compact and looks fairly stupid, so that seems like I've done a decent job there. Uh, okay. Now that I've got an interchange there, I need to go over and fix this one. Um, <laughs> I don't know what the point of this U-turn is here, but uh, anyway, uh, so I can go this way, but I need to go around this way, okay. I'm going to slow this down to normal speed here while I finish this, so I won't get any traffic around um, to the uh, other um, traffic around onto here unless I have these um, two missing ramps in place. Now I need to reverse it. Okay. So now the traffic can get to my new interchange and from it. Okay, so I'll um, get things rolling here. Okay, this um, setup here is definitely going to be needed when this fills in. Oh, 
Well, anyway, I'm going to um, save my game here. Uh, what's the city called again? Uh, Cliff View. Whoops. I'm going to call this the Cliff View Project. I'm going to call this the end of um, the first part of the Cliff View Project. Um, I'm coming up on uh, just uh, under an hour here, so that's long enough for a part, really. Um, I think I might get rid of that uh, No Pillars mod, because it uh, doesn't really allow moving pillars, just, well, removing them. Uh, but anyway, um, that's it for part one of the Cliff View Project. I'll see everyone back for part two. And as always, thank you for watching.